the dimensions of the product and the service this is the next topic so in dimension it means dimensions or you can also call it as attributes dimensions can also be called attributes so let's see the attributes of quality for the product and also the service so first we'll see about the product so what kind of an attributes we have so the first one is performance so what does it mean performance the performance is nothing but the main characteristics it is the main characteristics of the product so if i say a cell phone a mobile phone we know its performance we say how is the performance of this uh, mobile phone we ask your friends right uh, how is the performance of the mobile phone so you need to so you will say about all the characteristics um, usually the main characteristics you'll say that battery it, it holds a battery for a long time you know it doesn't heat up for a long time and uh, you'll say the clarity or the voice clarity or the there is no noise or there is no disturbance the signal uh, everything is fine now you talk about the main characteristics of the uh, product so the performance is the first attributes of it the second one is aesthetics second one is aesthetics aesthetics is nothing but the appearance either appearance the feel smell and taste so all these things are the more important in aesthetics so if i if i give if you take you to a shop for maybe a restaurant and i ask you uh, like you know after after you go with a lunch or a dinner then i ask you how was it you say like you know that sense the the restaurant smells good and the taste of every product is every food is very good and uh, if i ask you about that uh, any kind of a uh, uh, dress or if you call uh, ask about the mobile phone how was it then you'll say it's uh, looks very good it's appearance you talk about appearance so So talking about appearance feel smell and taste comes under the aesthetics and the third one is the special features the special features is nothing but the extra features which you are talking about extra characteristics we can say about the extra characteristics so extra characters like if you get a mobile phone for example you take the same thing you will have cameras and uh, now cameras are very common then you take fingerprints or you have iris sensors to have the face recognition or so on so all these things are very important actually in in the special features of it so in the next one is conformance conformance what is this conformance conformance talks about how well the product is how well the product is or even the service in case of a service is about the uh, so is it's about the uh, service or in the expectations how how well the product goes like if i say if i get a samsung mobile and say how well it goes it means it talks about how uh, conformance it conform about this uh, product so it becomes how uh, how well the product is looking and the next one is reliability so the reliability is, is the consistency of performance consistency of performance so how long it works good so that how how long it uh, holds the consistency uh, holds the performance whereas as you buy a new one and uh, you, you will uh, you will ask your friends right so how long you been using this mobile so so that's how this how it means the reliability it talks about the reliability of the product then the next one is durability so durability talks about the life span or the span life of the product and the useful life of the product then next one is perceived quality perceived quality is nothing but the indirect evaluation of the quality it's a um, indirect evaluation of the quality 
so indirect valuation if i say what uh, ask me if, uh, ask your friend uh, what mobile did you buy he says like you know, i oh, got an iphone i got a samsung i got a uh, some other branded company you know uh, then then indirectly he, he talks about its quality indirectly talks about its quality so it is nothing but the branded value so the brand value so this comes under the perceived quality and the last one is the serviceability the serviceability it is uh, usually it talks about the service after sale it talks about the service after sale so uh, about the service so when you whenever you get a product you the next the before uh, buying your product you will ask them how about the service where uh, of this product because service is more important when you get a product uh, maybe in the uh, use or long usage of your product you will end up with some uh, issues or some problems in case or you so you need to service your product also every time so uh, you need, will talk about your service of the product so these are the attributes of the uh, and are the dimensions in uh, the quality for the products for uh, next coming to the uh, for the service in terms of these attributes at we call it as attributes of quality now i am talking for the service so in service you have very few points the first one is convenience the convenience is the lo- locality a location of the service centers so before you get a get a product you need to buy a product immediately you will uh, know you will ask where is the service centers located so you need to know somewhere if you buy in a city and uh, uh, the service centers are far located in a city and uh, it's not easily accessible then you get disturbed right so a very important thing is the location of this service so convenience convenience of the customers to reach their service centers is more important for that and then the reliability the reliability talks about uh, about uh, fixing the problems that uh, whether the problems are fixed uh, fixing problems so whether they can they are able to fix the problems the service given by the uh, for the product or even anything uh, if the if they are able to fix the problems that is the main thing and uh, the third thing is uh, like res- responsiveness the responsiveness talks about whether the customer uh, is uh, personally willing is whether the personally willing to answer your questions so willingness of answering questions is the responsiveness so how responsible he is uh, whether he is willing to talk to you willing willing to uh, answer your questions these are more important the next one is the time so how long the service or the customer has to wait how long the service will take or how long the customer has to wait for your service so you have to keep your word so when you when i say it will take some one week of time or maybe maybe two days of time i have to keep my promise and i have to do my service very fast as possible so if for the same complaint if there are two service centers and one service center gives you a very quick response with the service is done very quickly and the other center doesn't takes a long out time uh, then um, there is a pro issue so the term is also more important and the next one is assurance assurance is come kind of like, like warranty okay so when i give a service to it how assurance are or, or sometimes it is called as a customer that is a service personal's knowledge service personal service personal's knowledge is about the about the repair okay so this is assurance and uh, the next one is courtesy courtesy is like uh, whether the service personnel and the cashier is friendly to your customers being friendly being friendly to customers so this is point of courtesy the last one is tangibles 
the tangibles means how the facility is clean facility um, clean and uh, person and the person service person personal is neat so when you look uh, go to a service center if it is uh, is uh, if, if it looks very good and if it is very clean and the person who going to do the service or whoever who is approaching you looks very neat then uh, uh, automatically uh, you will have a good impression over the service so in the to maintain the quality in the service all these things are more important and as next uh, we'll see about what are the service challenges and followed we'll see about the basic concept of tqm in the next lecture